guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of season two of Pretty to Me. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh, it hurts. But really, for McQueen. Yeah, I mean, because this is the last time. It's the last freaking episode. Okay, now opening it up. Mm. Guide only special week. Let's hope so. that person who got their hair cut. <laughs> I'm scared.
best girl. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Ah, yes. <laughs> Of course. There's so much writing on this, like... <sighs> of course, Palm is already out in front.
So she's in six. My God. She's already making her move. This is stressful. <laughs>
Oh, Christ. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> I'm a mess. Mm -hmm. Well, damn. <laughs> So final thoughts on this show. Honestly, I think I liked it a little bit more than season two. I mean, 
I mean, season two. Season one, my bad. Season two, I mean, the the stakes and the angst just went up a lot. I mean, this was a series that, like, oh my god. It went through everything for the story of Teo McQueen. I mean, you know, one minute we was happy, we was sad, we was pissed off, we was everything in the, in the damn emotions and such. Like, oh god, but just this episode, oh my god. You know when you feel like everything just stops and you're just in the moment? That's what this whole episode really felt like. It's, oh my god. I was scared, but like, I'm thinking like, oh my god, she might lose, she might lose. Like, how the heck are they gonna end this and such? But like, oh my god. I'm happy. Jesus Christ. This show made me cry again. Like, It's too much. Oh my god. Like, after last week, I'm thinking, uh, I'm probably not gonna cry during the finale, but like, oh, just to see her, like, up there in the front once again, and then, like, she's trying her hardest and she wasn't giving up, and you have the queen and everybody else cheering for her, just like, oh my god. Uh, this is such a good season. I mean, like, despite, like, everything that happened to both of them in this season, and, you know, them being the front runners and having certain characters be, like, the back runners of the show, but barely getting, like, finally, finally, after 13 episodes, best girl comes back for, like, a second just to say hello. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, you know that she's the fans are flooring over this. Like, oh my god, this is the only time she's probably gonna be here. Let's just take it and run with it. But, uh, this was just... This was a damn good series. Like, despite everything that happened in this show, the good, the bad, and everything else in between, this was good. I mean, every Monday, I, I always kept thinking, like, all right, how are we going to, like, you know, get better or get worse with this show? What the heck is going to happen next? And so I remember with last week, I was like, that's it. <laughs> this is the worst thing right now. For us, like I was like, Teo's kind of okay, but now we have McQueen in a bad spot, bad spot, and I'm like, how the hell are we going to, you know, end se the season and such? And they, I mean, they ended it on a good thing. I'm like, they're both okay now. They both can run now. And you know, the kids that were fans of them, they're now teenagers, and they're gonna be going to school. So, I mean, if it got a season three, which okay, cause see, I'm gonna compare this to like, um. Love Live, Bang Dream, D4 DJ. Yeah, Love Live, Bang Dream, D4 DJ, because it's the only ones that I can, that have kind of done what. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll add that one other Bang Dream show that I have not finished, <laughs> that I need to finish watching, because all I know is that has a movie. Um, okay, so Bushimo, the creators of Love Live, Bang Dream, um, D4 DJ and then the Bang Dream A side Avaganis or whatever the heck that's supposed to be. Um, typically, with their shows and their games, they're like, okay, first season comes out, we'll give you the game. Second season comes out, you get something else. Third and final season, that's it. They could do another season because, like, if they really wanted to. I know, like, what else Buchimo is kind of doing with um, Avaganis. Is they're giving them a movie instead of initial a second season, which I'm like, oh, okay, I'm fine with that. This, I mean, I would like to see one more season if they really, truly wanted to, because I mean, yes, it is a popular freaking series, and they could be like, okay, yeah, here's a third season just to have a third season. Or they could just do a movie, or they could do both. It's really like out of our hands right now, because we have no freaking clue what the hell they want to do. Because I mean, how long did it take for them to do season two? Like, I don't even remember. When the heck did season one come out? Like, it's 20, 20, 2018? I don't remember. We'll look it up after. But, I mean, like, you have to look at, like, how, how many years has it been since season one and season two? And then maybe, like, in a couple of years, like, who, who knows? It could be a season three. I mean, heck, like, like here's one thing that I, I still, like, for another show that I'm currently, that I finished watching, I did a reaction on before I moved here. The Ancient Magnus Bride. I never would have thought that we would have got something else for that series. And now, look, it's just coming out in the summer. So don't really, you know, you never know what the heck is going to happen. I mean, I, you know, this is the same chick who's still freaking out about the fact that we are getting the world's end with you as an anime. And I'm like, oh my god, like, thank you. Or even... Um, 
that one freaking show, uh, uh, oh my god, the devil, the, yeah, the, the demon slayer or something is a part-timer or some ish, that's finally getting a season two after umpteen years, even though I need to rewatch it again, <laughs> so I might end up doing that today, but like, yeah, it's just like, don't count something out, because you never know if something's gonna get like, an extra OVA, um, a season two or a movie or whatever. So, I mean, if it does get another season, I'll be happy for it. If it doesn't, I'm, I'm okay with it ending with the way it ended, but it's still the way it ends it, is it gives an open ending. It's like the freaking, okay, it's like We Cross. If any of you have seen the original We Cross, not the BS that came out like last year, um, when that ended and when the movie came out, I was like, okay, this show's done. There's nothing else that they could do with this. And then they decided to do one last thing with the group. And I'm over here like, what the fuck is going on? What are we doing now? Oh my God. But then you gave us that BS thing of a show that we, I, I don't think most of us really like. I, Cause your girl didn't even finish that damn show. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed this season. I think the story of Teo McQueen and learning more about them was really good because I mean, going from season one and just focusing on, um, Shizuka and Special Week was interesting to still have everybody else but then to flip it and have McQueen and Tao be the main front even though you know your girl was like okay so when the fuck are we going somewhere else with somebody else but it was still good I mean still I think my personal favorite episode was the freaking date episode between these two them dressing up in Halloween costumes and just hanging out and drinking boba and it's like it's just so fucking cute like I can't I don't know I might have like honestly have to play the game because like I think what last week I was on Twitter and I saw this like cute picture of a cute girl like horse girl in the middle and I was like oh my god who is she I want to see who she is nobody has really given me an answer on it and such so I'm guessing she's probably one of like a type of character who's like a placement character who doesn't really have maybe like a voice probably has a name but not a voice like I don't know but yeah, I'll, if I remember when I upload this, I'll, I'll, like, link it and such. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards Season 2 of Pretty Derby. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all, I think, ne yeah, next week for the start or really the continuation of spring anime for whatever the heck comes out for me next Monday, which I think is possibly Fruits Basket. I don't really know yet. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!